we go. <laughs> and it says we're live. It lies. All right. And our favorite stamp liquor was just here. <laughs> it was. <laughs> if you would like to uh, at least hold it straight for God's sakes. Now tilt it the other way. <laughs> If you if you'd like to, I don't know it's Texas. Do something. Yeah. Don't it here. Um, if you like coffee, talk to these guys. Let Speaking them. of which, you have a new oh, coffee. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, sweet. Uh, talk to these guys. Apparently, <laughs> they sent me some just for me. Yeah. Zambia. I love African coffees. Yeah. Um, I was just bitching the other day that you can't find African coffees in uh, <laughs> in the U.S. It's all South American. I prefer the African stuff because why the hell not? Yeah. Apparently, I now have some African coffee. I guess he was listening. Yeah. I love the description on that. I now I want to order some because I want to try it. Deliciously heavy-bodied coffee with natural flavor notes of apricot, mandarin, mandarin orange, and melon. It's coffee. <laughs> if you like smart ass t-shirts and who doesn't uh contact go here tinyurl.com among the leaves tees smart ass t-shirts out the wazoo um i have a question from Jeff. cedar's in the house on this tuesday yeah yes and yes. sanford and sanford i i took the day off so a very rare day off um and in the Discord, John has just pointed out that there's a question for you, Jim. So I'm going to uh -oh. read it for you. Oh, shit. This okay. is from J. Kenton Pierce. Um, the use of call signs. While characters are listening to a transmission, I italicize the dialogue using non-italics for ship names. What would call signs and handles like HDF Actual or Big Mama be done in italics like the rest of the dialogue? Or would it be proper to leave them in italics like I would a person's name? You don't put them in italics. Okay. If anything, you would set them off with a um, bracket. single bracket. Yeah. 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 Somebody else says maybe with single quotes on each side. Single quote would work. Mm -hmm. That's what I use is single okay. quotes. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> the thing answers. the thing with call signs too is you don't get to pick your call sign. Mm -hmm. At least in the Navy, it's picked for you. <clears throat> and it's not always polite. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you say everybody doesn't get to be Magra Maverick? No. Uh, a friend of mine's call sign was Avon. And it was a guy. Because going through Sear School, he knew there were bugs. So his wife had given him some skin so soft. And he used that. Oh, no. <laughs> in Sear School. And yeah, his call sign became Avon. <laughs> he should be. He said, "Thanks, Lucky Scars. That's stars. That's the only thing it became." Yeah. Uh, another friend of mine's call sign was Puke, because that's what he did. The first three of his pilot trainers was puke his guts out. Mm -hmm. uh, to the point he actually said, "I swear to God, I've puked up my toenails at one point." Oh. I know a couple of guys who went through butts and uh, don't re know whether, don't remember where I heard this, but one of them was Butt Boy 1, the other was Butt Boy 2. Yeah. Uh, John, Ringo. John Ringo. Yeah. Okay. I That's know. Ghost. Yeah, that yes. was in Ghost. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Sir Brass, you're stuck with it is right. Uh, and it's either something spectacular or embarrassing, or it could be your name. Oh. Uh, I've told this before, but it's worth repeating. Uh, we had a gent who became a four-star admiral who got his call sign in the Naval Academy. He was going through the Naval Academy and had selected for aviation. And the movie Willard came out. And Willard was a rat. And his last name was Willard. Oh, he no. screwed. His call sign became Rat. Mm -hmm. As a four-star admiral, he would still respond to Rat quicker than he would to Admiral. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. 
He also flew in the first Top Gun movie as uh, one of the pilots. Oh, cool. He was actually a Top Gun instructor at the time. You are, you are squeezing all the air out of that. Yeah. <laughs> Cleaving the lung. Open it, stick your nose yeah. in the bees. Yeah. <laughs> of course, he's killing what I'm trying to say, but he doesn't. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry. Open it, stick your nose in the bees. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> uh, uh, I can do it. Yeah, two dogs. Uh, usually, they try to keep it to one syllable because mm -hmm. in a combat environment, and I got this from Ed Rasmus, he said the radios are so crowded, especially if it's a, it's a furball, multiple yeah. fights, multiple yeah. aircraft, that all you want to do is yell, a you syllable. know, flake break right. Mm -hmm. You want to be the call sign and do something. Yeah. Because that may be the only thing that saves your ass. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ed said one of the guys that he flew with, call sign was Stash. Because they all wore, I mean, we all did, all wore mustaches mm -hmm. back in the day. Yeah. Because, so stash? No, we couldn't get away with that. No. But it was considered good luck if you ended up in combat and had a mustache, you had a better chance of surviving. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Robin Olds, mm. uh, great mustache. Yeah, completely out of regs. Completely out of regs. <laughs> and he was daring him to do something about it. Yeah, but 100 missions, Route Pack 6, North Vietnam, made it back every time. Air Force uses operational sign, call signs. They go away in a hurry if things go to shit because those operational sign and call signs change every day. Oh, that doesn't work. No. Uh, and yeah, you use the, you know, you know, we like, we would have call signs like MA-241. That is not going to roll right off the tongue. No, but that was the operational call sign. MA-24, two, two, three, no, two, no, one. Yeah. <laughs> well, the next day it would be, two, might be 256. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'd never know who you're talking to or, yeah. or who was talking to you. Or. And when we did we did joint ops with uh, other aircraft, mm -hmm. we would usually torque it down to, you know, I, I was in five, LR5, yeah. and they might be in LF6, and I'd call them up, it'd be six, this is five. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Well, when I was in the Army many, many moons ago, uh what we used a lot of times was uh, okay. I was an ops company, yeah. Uh, and we could do my third platoon, yeah. And track two, I was Alpha three two. Mm -hmm. uh, correction, my track was Alpha three two. Yeah. If they wanted a specific individual, it was three two six for the commander. Yeah. Or three two one for the driver. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's part of the problem. Just trying to remember who you are and where you are. Because mm -hmm. if you got in another vehicle, you would be at a different call center. Yeah. And I'm not sure that that's what we did at that time. Yeah. Still. still. Uh -huh. uh, you know, things change. Yeah. <laughs> uh, except the fact, you know, there's always that one goofball. Yeah. <laughs> that never changes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, Greg says... One naval aviator was call sign was slag. He screwed himself when he admitted first catch shot. He screamed <laughs> like a girl. Yeah. Uh, Jesse says he breaks out a credit card in the twenty. <laughs> Somebody stop him, please. I'm pretty what? sure it's whole beans, isn't it? It is. Yeah. 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 Glorious whole beans. <laughs> By the way, if you earn a unit and it yeah. does not have a goofball, you're the goofball. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sir, Brass, the, the famous HUD of the Air Force F-16s in Iraq. Iraq. Uh, and see, that's the Air Force mentality. They will stick to that shit and die. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that is nice. <laughs> Am I the only one that just went ahead and planted his face in the bag? It's your bag. No. I'm not going to stick my face all the way in there. <laughs> 
I got mine pretty deep. I didn't. I actually rub it in the. And beach. no, we're not yeah. doing crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> Cedar has, Cedar and Sanford have now joined the those of us that are known as empty nesters. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, this one we got Jim being happy, Ian storing coffee, and Cedar's just done. <laughs> I am so tired. I did not sleep well last night, and it had nothing to do with the fact that I was seeing the boy off way too early this morning, <laughs> which was. Ugh. I love my child. I'm really glad that today you are a man. <laughs> he has taken the oath. He is now <laughs> Uncle Sam's problem. <laughs> My active parenting is done. <laughs> now the Navy gets to parent him. Now the Navy gets to parent him. Well, the Navy, evidently, somebody in the Navy gave him the impression that I should be there at 6.30 in the morning at the federal building. Of course they did. To see him swear in. <laughs> of course they did. We showed up and had a lovely conversation with the security guard who was kind of between Sanford and I in age. <laughs> and uh, had been there, done that, seen that before, and was highly amused at the two of us and gave yeah. us directions to the nearest coffee shops, warning us that they probably weren't open at that hour, and he was not wrong. Yeah. So we went and found the nearest Waffle House and had full breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> and the boy texts us, and it's like, he's like, be here at 8, oh, 0800. The thing is at oh, 0830. And I'm like, okay. It was like no five shit. minutes before. It's like, seven fifty-five. About that time, I got the text, yeah. and it's rush hour traffic, and we're five, six miles away from yeah. downtown, and there is congestion. Surprise! So we got there, and he's texting me increasingly frantically okay. during all of this because they had given him his phone back. I don't know why. So that they could watch him panic, yeah. right? And um, and we got there, and we got through security, and we knew what we were doing walking into a federal building, so we didn't have anything we shouldn't have. Yeah. Um, in fact, I had very little on me, and uh, they checked to make sure that Sanford didn't have too much metal in him because something about looking at him gave him the impression yeah. that he might have some metal in him. Yeah. <laughs> and we we wandered in and we got to watch the uh, the swearing in, which was lovely. I, I took a video of it, and it was him and about eight nine other kids. Yeah. Three or four of them had family there, and they they gave them leave Good. to hang out with us in the room and take pictures. Um, take pictures. And we, so we got some nice pictures in front of all the flags, and and then we were done. And uh, he went back to actually sign his contract, and we boogied out of there. Interesting. We never got that. Uh -uh. I didn't hear. Yeah. It was. This yeah. was this was delayed entry. So he yeah. was DP delayed entry program. So he actually swore twice. The first time we couldn't be there. This yeah. one. Was a whole ceremonial your parents yeah. oh, yeah. to be there thing. I get that, which was nice. I'm glad Must that they, I'm glad that they made that available, because he told me that they have let him know that he will have a weekend after basic. Um, so if I want to come and see him, yeah. we I can actually have a day of we could run around <laughs> and do museums in Chicago or something. But I don't know if I'll be able to manage. Verify that. that before we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, yeah, too. I mean. Oh, so yeah, I mean this he didn't have a high school graduation. So yeah. this is this was the big ceremony of transition from one phase of his life to the next. Because yeah. uh, mama's not bailing him out anymore. Yeah. I am so done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Greg says better half was able to swear her son in when he enlisted. She was being in a being a retired army major. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. <clears throat> a friend of mine, oh my the other deputy with me at O and R. Retired Navy 06. Son graduated from VMI. Army. Mm -hmm. So he went down to do the oath for his son. Ah. In uniform. Yeah. In dress whites. Mm -hmm. With everything on. <laughs> Full fruit salad? Because, All the fruit salad. Because he could. Yeah. I love that. We were talking about this. Um, Apparently the... Brass at VMI was saluting TA. <laughs> <laughs> like That's you do. Awesome. Yeah. We were talking about this. The um, I was only vaguely aware that there was an officer there doing the, the introductory yeah. chat, which was more directed at us, the yeah. parents, and the kids. And um, Brown Digicam, I couldn't tell you which service he was from. 
but when we after we left, Brief. we were talking about um, how do they just pick someone at random? Does someone volunteer to do that? Yeah. How do they pick the officer that's yeah. going to do the oath? And I was commenting that I know some of the people that I know that are are serving now would probably, if they were in the area and had the time, would pop in and do it just for fun of all the bright shining faces before the joy is crushed out of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what my original question was. Came out and said he was Captain So and So, and I was yeah. wondering which service because it makes a hell of a lot of difference which service you're in. Which it does, captain. yes, that it does. Uh, <laughs> it was not civet coffee, yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> we need to get Ian some civet coffee. Nope, <laughs> nope, nope, just for Ian. Nope, and everybody's going, Ian's got a problem when he's snorting coffee and chewing coffee beans. I haven't had coffee today. Leave me alone. <laughs> you haven't had coffee? I haven't had coffee. That's all I have now. <laughs> what the hell? Did you sleep in again? I did for a fact. Asshole. <laughs> Our coffee this morning at the hotel were tea bags. <laughs> yeah. Tea bags to dunk in hot water. And it was <laughs> it was warm and it was vaguely coffee flavored. Oh. No, it was warm and brown, and that was about it. The creamer had more flavor than the coffee. Ray, they've gone away from the uh, blue camo for the Navy. Now it's multicam like everybody else. Uh. <laughs> so it's not blue? Uh, no. It's, oh, okay. It's green. Which is why it could have been. Yeah. It's, it's all stupid, you know. The Army took, what, four or five years to update their multicam. I love Ethiopian coffee. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it should be orange. You're right, Ray. Uh, that's what our flight suits used to be many years ago was orange. And then they decided that that was not safe. James, it's going slowly. I've got uh, other things going on including I managed to turn my thumb funny colors. Ch ouch. Changing the uh, tire on my riding lawnmower. I doubt it was out just what you said. Uh, yeah. the uh, I need to remember to not get my thumb under the star wrench when I'm breaking lug nuts loose. You had changed tires? Yeah. yeah. Uh, just a, a quick sidebar, folks. Don't mix your Pepsi Max with your Zambian coffee beans. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's an expression I haven't seen in a while. It did not mix well. Yeah. Yeah, Blue Digicam is, is, was stupid. Uh, Digicam and the Navy. Yeah. Are they camouflaging you so that if you fall overboard, you're harder to find? Uh, that's what yeah. the that's what the blue ones were yeah. for. The blue <laughs> digital cam, so we can't find the little bastards. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What would we do without Ian? Probably a, a lot fewer nightmares. Yeah, the blueberry BDUs. Uh, yeah. Don't don't mix Dr Pepper with Sweeties either. Ooh, why would you even think that? That was a good bean, but that mix was not. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Speaking of dark, yeah, I've learned something dark from my husband today on the way home as I was passing a semi truck with the smiling face of Elsie the cow for Borden's milk. Okay. okay, and he goes, I remember when um, the ad campaign for Elsie's husband Elmer came out, and I'm <laughs> like, wait, what? And he's like, yeah, it was, seriously, there was an ad campaign. Elmer was Elsie's husband. I'm like, that's dark. It's great. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. that is dark. <laughs> then, well, we all, then we discussed how they both produced the same. She produced a white substance, yeah. liquid substance. He became he a, white. a thicker, sticky liquid <laughs> substance, white substance. Yeah. Not that. Glue. <laughs> Elmer glue. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Then, then, of course, she brings up how glue is, used to be made. Yeah. Well, horse yeah, hooves. Go, horse bones and horse hooves still yeah. get glue. Yeah. Cow hooves do the same thing. Yeah. Right? That's exactly what I thought of. And I was like, Elsie gives milk and Elmer gives 
glue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cedar, 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 cedar. So I'm a little dark in my rambling. <laughs> well, evidently, this was a legitimate ad campaign, which just makes me think, what, what, yeah. what were they yeah. thinking? It was when a more innocent together? time. They didn't think about it. Yeah. No, they no, they were snickering in the back room the yeah. entire time. Hell, it's. Okay, the people that were it was aimed at didn't think about it. <coughs> it was, that is that is probably true. Yes, well, uh, I mean it's still true to this day. Well, look at the ads that. Well, I say look at the ads. You can't see them anymore because they're gone. But the ads that we used to see, uh, the copper tone ads, with a little girl's butt showing. With a little girl's butt showing. Mm -hmm. It was cute. It was innocent. It yeah. was sweet. Now you go to prison for it. Yeah. The ones about vacuum cleaners, the ones about uh, stoves in the kitchen, the ones about TVs. Hell, the ones from Swenson's dinners about TV dinners. You know, you wouldn't even be able to put one of those on TV no, or in print today. Hell, a lot of we couldn't do it these days. Yeah. Yeah. You used to be able to advertise liquor. Mm -hmm. And cigarettes. And cigarettes, yeah. The Flintstones uh, cigarette commercials were famous. Winston's. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and by the way, these look like coffee beans. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> when you mix it with a Coke, it gets sticky, though, which is really not right. <laughs> when you mix it with Diet Pepsi, it gets a sticky film, and that's just not right. Joel, Joel says, conversation from many centuries ago, if I boil down what dead animal, can I make things to stick to each other? Are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Schlitz malt liquor bull. That's another one, yeah. Yeah. I would not mix these coffee beans and Coke. No. The coffee beans speed me up enough. I don't need Coke on top of that. <laughs> no. and Jesse That's says, not even a bump. One of Electrolux's early slogans. They really suck. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Or Chevrolet trying to sell Novas in Mexico. Doesn't go. Yeah, doesn't go, yeah. Oh, no. Nova and Nova means yeah. doesn't go. go. Yes, yeah. could figure out why the Mexican market wasn't buying the Novas. Yeah, Doug brings Nova. up a good, a good point. Now they let friggin' lawyers advertise. That. Yes, although some of those are unintentionally funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raptor says Winston Cup. Yeah, Winston sponsored uh, NASCAR for mm -hmm. well over twenty years. Oh, yeah. Given where NASCAR started and where it's still big, this does not surprise me at yeah. all. Yeah, well, I was she showed me a political ad from an Arizona uh campaign for uh what was the uh okay, so it's it's local. This is like the best political campaign ad I have ever seen, and it's just hilarious because it's a Arizona local politics thing, and oh, good god, they've been chatty. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I went to where I saw it earlier and uh, hey, Sarah, no, I can't find it. There's the ad is it's a picture of a sad little girl. Why can't I play in the abandoned copper mine, mommy? Because Joe Hart doesn't clear out the vampire dens. Vote in Kobe, mine inspector, write in candidate. Fun fact Arizona is the only place in the country where the state mine inspector is in an elected position. I forgot vampire bats were a thing. I thought they were referring to the folklore <laughs> kind of vampire. <laughs> the subtle advocation for kids to be playing in the uh, abandoned copper mines. <laughs> I, uh, I, I can't lie. If I'd been a kid around mines, I'd have played in them. Yeah. Yep. Can't well, lie. Vote for the vampire yeah. slayer. But only if that guy was elected so that he'd go in and clean up the vampires. Vampire <laughs> well, the problem with playing around the mines when you're a kid is that the coal dust gives you away. Yeah. Yeah. Not an abandoned copper. Sir Brass says anything. all those antidepressant and immunosuppressant ads on TV are worse than the cigarettes and alcohol. Yeah. You know, when the list of side effects run three or four pages. Oh, it's not that. It's uh Rita looked at me one time with those big blue eyes and said that she wanted to get um after watching a uh an ad for a herpes medication was you know, we should get herpes. That way we can go to these fantastic vacations. It's like baby. Yeah. Stop. Well, one thing yes. about it is, I worry when the 
medicine you're it's a gift that keeps on giving is the problem. <laughs> what you're getting a medicine for is like the sniffles. Yeah. And one of the side effects is death. Yeah. Yeah, always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, five for S. When a list of side effects to treat one issue gives you 15 more. Yeah. Well, that's the thing of it. The thing about the list of side effects is the way the FDA is, um, when they're doing the test, anything that happens to you has to be listed as a side effect. So, yeah. you know, you take a, you know, you take whatever for whatever, and the next day you trip and go and fall down the escalator. Yeah. It's, you know, side, side effect, possible impact trauma. Yeah. Side effect for Prozac for depression <laughs> is depression. Yes. Yeah. Do not take ass effects if you're allergic to ass effects. Yeah. <laughs> How the hell are you supposed to know? Oh, uh, I have two allergies listed. One is for a drug called amlodipine, which is a blood pressure medication. Mm -hmm. Because one of the side effects, which I happen to be one of the 2% that apparently it, it applies to, is that it mimics a heart attack. Yeah, we, we discovered that. Yeah, we did discover that when my ass ended up in the ER. And uh doctor took one look at me and went, here, nitroglycerin. And I went, oh, God, what a fucking headache. No, no kidding. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it didn't help. Nitro makes me faint. Yeah. It's not bad if you really, really need it. It's not too bad. Yeah. And if you don't need it, yeah, you end up with good. a headache from hell. Yeah. And the other one is uh, uh, Lomatil. No, not Lomatil. Uh, Lotrimin, yeah. The um, Another blood pressure med. Mm -hmm. One of the side effects of that is coughing. Yes. And Lisinopril. Huh? Lisinopril. Lisinopril, Lisinopril. Lisinopril, yeah. Lisinopril, Lisinopril cough. And they had me on Lisinopril for about three years. And I was coughing. I complained about it. And they went, yeah, <coughs> you know. Just keep taking it and it'll go away. Man, never gone away. It went, mm -hmm. got worse. And they finally took me off of it two years ago. So there, there are there are side effects that people do get. Um, but the odds, the odds of getting the side effects are, <clears throat> I want to say, less than the benefits of taking the medication. Usually, usually, yeah. I say when they're doing the tests, anything that's reported. Anything that's reported has to be listed as a side yeah. effect. Yeah. Coughing is also a side effect of pollen season. Yes. When there is so much pollen that your white car turns yellow or there's, green. There's a mosquito in a sweater storing a line of pollen off the hood of my truck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's Tuesday. What do we have coming out? Um, I finished. Weird West. Weird West is this this Starting week? Out this Friday. This Friday, okay. Yeah. Yep. I know this because I have to go home and do the layout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It won't it won't take me long. It's just been it was a hectic weekend and I wanted to spend every minute I could with my kid before yeah. I kicked him Completely out of the house. Completely understandable. Yeah. Completely understandable. It's like could could have launched him in an air cannon and <laughs> saved you the trip, but <laughs> Well, I mean, this is it. I mean, I told him, it's, the, Mama's not bailing you out anymore. This one after this, you're on your own. You gotta go make this work for you. Yeah. If you like the cover for Weird West, and you better uh, wait till <laughs> yeah. you see the inside. Yeah. That's all. And that's all I'm saying on that matter. Um, yeah, there's something different inside this one. Yeah. Yeah. Tree orgies are not fun. Padre is right. Yes. Well, there was a video Tree Bukaki. <laughs> floating around, I think two years ago now, of wind going through a bunch oh. of juniper trees down in South Texas. Yes. Poof. Yellow cloud. And it was literally a yellow cloud. It mm -hmm. looked like the tree was on fire. Mm -hmm. There was so much pollen coming off of them. Yep. No wind pollinated anything. Uh, there's going to be a lot of pollen in the air. I always hear complaints in Texas that about the uh, salt cedar. Oh, yeah, cedar fever. Yeah. And I cannot have that. There's no way I can have, have an allergy to cedar. Yeah. <laughs> well, point. <laughs> point. No but, comment. <laughs> but the salts, the, and salt cedars are an invasive species around here. Yes. It's actually a tamarisk. Yeah. 
So yeah, and they're invasive. And when those along with mesquite, those damn things when they uh, have fun. Yeah, mesquite is nominally native to the area, or at least native to South Texas. South Texas, it's not up well, here. It's native to the region, um, but it has crept northward with. Um, the changing climate as we move into a warmer no it's that's actually not true follow yeah. following the uh, cows it, following the cow herds. it was not native to this part of texas mm. it no, was strictly south texas that's why i was saying region because the i'm not even breaking it down as far as eco region yeah but like you won't find it in the midwest mm -mm. You did used it in my lifetime. You didn't have it in Panhandle. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's just with it. It was not up here because that all was transmitted by the cattle as they walked cattle north. Drives. Cattle drives. Yeah, and but there's a, you see the splits. Yeah, Red River versus the ones going toward New Mexico. Yeah, it's a multivariate thing though because yeah. the cattle, yes, are bringing the seeds in their gut yeah. um, and dropping them as they went. And that's a slow thing. But if you're talking about not within your lifetime, it's also the fact that something else has changed to allow them to thrive to the extent where now we're not. Well, the birds, the birds will carry the seeds. Mm -hmm. Right. And but the other problem with that is both mesquite and salt cedar also will suck the right the water right. aquifer down. Right. You got to get uh, listen to Alma. Yeah, <laughs> get get wound up about uh, mesquite and salt cedar in the uh, mm -hmm. Canadian breaks and the Palo Duro Canyon. Yeah. Well, the, what I'm saying though has to do with we were coming out of the little ice age in the right. medieval period, so the the climate has been changing. Yeah. I'm it's not talking. Anth I'm not talking anthropogenic right. climate change, which is ridiculous. Yeah. But there are there are swings of warm and dry. Um, I was just mm -hmm. re started reading a book on. Uh, the Stone Age in Egypt, yeah, talking about the the greening of the Sahara and mm -hmm. the drying and, and the, the fluctuations back and forth over tens of thousands of years, and the Paleolithic peoples that inhabited yeah. different spaces. There. There's a uh, there's a beautiful shot uh, from Google Earth of a uh, section of the Sahara, mm. um, and it's you can tell that there used to be a extremely large lake there, and mm -hmm. there's a port. That's around this mm -hmm. sand dunes, and it's yeah. a port city. Yeah, from a lake that used to be in the Sahara. Mm -hmm. back, and people built people built an entire port city around a, uh, a, a lake, lake that, that was now dried up, big and big yeah. enough and yeah. deep enough that yeah. it was a major trade. Yeah, yeah it was let me <clears throat> let me go back to one thing that Matt said, which is a good point. Beware of express scripts and the crap generics. Oh, uh, oh, that's express. <laughs> Generic Ex drugs a lot of times get substituted for what is actually prescribed for you. And the cheaper they can go, <coughs> the more money these companies can make that fill prescriptions. And Express Scripts is one of the ones that is notorious. I, for, I won't use Express Scripts. For going as cheaply as possible on the generic drugs. So... If you use Express Scripts, be aware of that. I, I won't use them. Yeah. Will not use them. So from a perspective of a pharmaceutical chemist quality control, um, even though nominally your active a, your API, your active pharmaceutical ingredient, yeah. should be the same, there is a difference in quality depending on the source. Yes. And there are parts of the world that API come you know, come in from. And there's a, a there's a bare minimum of testing of quality control that must be done in order for it to come into the US and be dispensed here. Mm -hmm. However, that doesn't that's not the same as <clears throat> saying that it is all the same stuff. Because yeah. it's not. The other interesting thing is that you'll get um the VA did this to something of Sanford's. He was prescribed a succinate a version of the drug by the hospital after he had his heart attack. The VA switched him to the tartrate version of the drug. And they're very similar, but not the same in the, the, the chemical action in the body. But the tartrate version is cheaper, so that's yeah. what the VA switched him to. I was just happy I didn't have to 
fight with them because I was warned that they would likely try to switch his blood thinner. Yeah. And the cardiac doc at the hospital was like, do not let them do this. They yeah. will try to do this, but don't let them because it's not the same. So that's something you have to look out for too, is that even if two drugs have a similar action, yeah. they'll have gender, different interactions and they have different longevity in the body. Um, so you really need to talk to your pharmacist, not the doctors. Well, that, that brings up a point talking about the API. <clears throat> I seem to remember something about they don't actually test for the potency of. It depends on the drug. The drug. It depends on the drug. The the uh, the actual chemical. It really depends on the yeah. drug. Um, most of it is these days is done with HPLC, which is much better than some of the other assays and stuff that was done to test for potency. Yeah. Some of the older testing was questionable at best. I mean, it was the best we could do. Yeah. Now we have um, the ability to test via HPLC and get a pretty accurate assay for the actual molecule being present. Yeah. But as far as testing for potency, it's not done with every drug. Yeah. Usually they will assay for presence and it has to be within a certain percentage parameter. Um, and that's done out through stability, which is what I work with now, which is making sure that the drug is stable under um, label conditions and packaging so that you don't start out with one thing and then have it degrade over a couple right. of years into something else. Um, but it, but assay isn't done for every drug. It, it really does depend on the drug and what its mechanism of action is right. as far as whether it's tested for potency. So High pressure liquid chromatography. Yes. Got it. Got it. Sorry. I, 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 for... my, it's my, my acronyms is like you guys yeah. with acronyms. You do have to stop me. And, and yeah. 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 So, I mean, this is all testing that I've done. And also now I do the, the technical reports on yeah. looking at all this. Data. Jesse so, says they also might not mix it as well as the name brand. Uh, yeah. Yes and no. I mean, there's, your formulation can vary from place to place, but yeah, generally speaking, with a generic, they're going to do it very similar to how they've been doing it because it's less expensive than reworking the formulation. Yeah, because if you rework the formulation, you have to go back through new drug application. Yeah, so Ooh. you're talking about millions of dollars to prove to the FDA that it still does what the original formulation did. Yeah, so any kind of a tweak. Tiffany says right. they don't have that option anymore. They took everything away. Um, my son has let, just let me know that they are flying him to Dallas and then to Chicago. <laughs> 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 hey, at least it's not a land. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I swore Oven in. spoke. Yeah. yeah. I swore in. When I went in the Army, I swore in from this area. Mm -hmm. And I had to do it at the Dallas MEPS. Evidently, Wichita Falls is the only place in Texas that they send them up to OKC. Didn't used to. Yeah. Right. And I'm guessing it's a change. But um, yeah, because we thought he was going to wind up at Al down at Dallas. We know mm -hmm. people down there. But we were all prepared for him to go through there with somebody <laughs> that he knew. Navy flight scheduling. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, Sanford and I were say talking about this and saying, well, they might send him by way of Atlanta because. <laughs> of course, if he also, if he signs in in Oklahoma City. Mm hmm then that will hurt him for getting a free education in Honey Texas. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know because his yeah. home address is our address. Yeah, but it's it's last I checked, Honeywell was where it was depending on where you swore in. At. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. So I yeah. don't know on that one. I would I would I would assume that the recruiters are aware of that, but I don't know. So too late. At they this should point. be yeah. too late at this point. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, he doesn't get tagged to hold on to the group's records. Oh Sanford, God! Yes. Sanford did because his name began with a B, and yeah. he was the alphanumerically first. Yeah. And Here, so, kid. Yep, that's exactly what they did to him. Yeah, he doesn't remember much from nearly fifty years ago going into the military, but that's the one thing that he really remembers because he was nervous about it. <laughs> well, remember at Pecan last year, all those kids that were running around. Mm -hmm. The one with the bag. Mm -hmm. They were all waiting to fly to Paris Island. Ah, oh, yeah. 
that one kid, the bag that he had was all their records. And he was told to never let that bag out of his sight. Yep. So he was not. <laughs> yep. I remember when I was when I drove up to Lawton to pick up uh, Jonna and uh, Courtney. Mm -hmm. Exhausted. <laughs> uh, already taken my melatonin. Um, <laughs> and uh, some brand new E1 uh, was dink around with his travel papers. Uh, waiting for the luggage, and he's, he's, he kept going. You know, he son, your orders don't change. They're they're not going to magically change. <laughs> but he kept pulling out his orders and looking at them, and then he got way too many laundry bags overstuffed. Yeah, he had like five overstuffed laundry bags of clothes. It's like, dude, what the hell were you doing in basic? Yeah. And then when it came off, he put his travel paper. He laid his his travel travel orders. He laid them on the ground. Oh, it's like. So unsecure those papers for somebody steps on them. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alpha Mark's got three of the cover spots on Weird West. Yay. And congrats to Matt for getting on the cover. There you go. Uh, yeah, we didn't get to ride Amtrak to Orlando. We got stuck on a friggin' bus. Greyhound. Yeah. From Shreveport, Louisiana to Orlando, Florida. Something like 14 fucking hours. Good Lord. Yeah. Ugh. Greyhound. We yeah. had a drunk drool on your shoulder for the entire trip. Yeah. <laughs> I think damn near everybody on the bus was military. So, or soon to be military. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Jono was laughing at me after I ordered that kid to secure his travel papers. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I realized I was sitting there um, in an Afghani squat with my back against the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I had a contractor beard and a schmog around my neck. It's like, well, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> uh, and I just, I just given him an order, and the 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 uh, civilian was picking him up was laughing his ass off. Yeah. He was laughing harder than Jono was, and Jono was giggling pretty hard. Oh, Padre got busted at the tail end of Lost in the Woods. Oh, no. <laughs> Fort Lost in the Woods? Yeah. That's where Oof. they do boot camp. One of them. Out yeah, of Fort Boot Leonard camp Wood. or AIT, one. Uh, it's uh, it's a uh, uh, joint, I forget what they call it, one-stop unit training. Yeah. Uh, for When I was in, it was uh, mostly mechanics that went there. Yeah. Yeah, we. I remember AJ's talking about they only uh, process late at night. We we got there late at night, and I remember we had our little little bag. We you were allowed one little bag with basically uh, personal health items. Yeah, that's what they had. Yeah. They gave him Johan this look, one of those little tiny dinky backpacks with the strings. Yeah. And then Ooh. the cat was playing with the string and broke it. Um, that, that's all he was allowed to do what would fit in that. Yeah. He'll was. pay for that when he yeah. gets to basic. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we checked in to the barracks, met the chief for the first time, and got about two hours of sleep. Got woke up at 4.30 in the morning because he was not going to have us embarrass him by not knowing how to march to chow. And that was the start. <laughs> we got we we landed at uh, I, I did my base at Fort Jackson, um, and we landed at I think Columbia, Columbus, Columbia, whatever. Columbia, Columbia, and in the dark. Yeah, and it went got into Fort Jackson in the dark. Uh, the instructor screaming at us on the bus, and then I think we finally got to bed at two a.m. They woke us up at four thirty. Yeah. Oh, Shane Grease did a tour at uh, Fort training Lost command. in the Woods as a training command. Training oh. command. Oh. Yeah, Fort Sill is uh, field, home of field artillery. Yeah. So I guarantee that kid was a muzzle monkey. Yeah. That's such a great cover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. It's a good cover. Thank you. Look at this cover. I'm going to put this up there. 
Gotta love that. That is nice. Isn't that a rocking one? Yes, yep. it is. And wait till you see the uh, what's inside. <laughs> Yeah. Matt was communing with dolphins. It was very cute. <laughs> Matt was communing with dolphins? I love it when they commune with dolphins. Because yeah. he, he got his name on the cover. Oh, it's really hard to get into this one. Yeah. yeah. No, no it's, it's, it's always fun when I get to do the cover lineup because there are certain people that I'm just like, of course, they're going on the cover. Alma, yeah. Alma sends us a story. She's going on the cover. Um, but then I get to pick someone just kind of at random, lucky draw, or <laughs> you yeah. had your... You've had your story in every space cowboys up to this one. Of course, you're going on the cover now. <laughs> <laughs> Acronym list, yes. Uh, every military is especially bad about acronyms, but every organization has their own list of acronyms. Oh, yeah, even in the military. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I don't like acronyms. Yeah. Oh, I know, <laughs> but we use them. Hi, Johan. <laughs> Johan's on here. He's watching for a bit. He says yeah. <laughs> they are they are currently waiting to be implained. Yeah. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah. <laughs> What's your first thought if I say CPA? Certified public accountant. No. Closest point of approach. Uh -huh. Cardiopulmonary arrest. <laughs> that too. Depends on how close the point of approach is, I yeah. guess. <laughs> but there are there are so many of those, and it's it's as Ian said, it's very easy to get confused by yep. them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, One of those I remember from the Army is N16. Yeah. Which you say the N16 do ninety percent of people in the country, it's a rifle. Yeah. It's, it's a version of the AR-15. Yeah. It's also about 14 school and other things. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, thing that comes to my mind when I hear M-16 is a plotting board yeah. for yeah. artillery fire. Yep. Cleaning, pressing, and alterations. Yeah. If you're in the laundry business. Mm -hmm. speaking, of, <laughs> speaking of which, uh -oh. old Chinese laundryman that was doing our stuff back in the day. Ancient Chinese secret. <laughs> yeah. Tell me something interesting, which I've, I've realized many years later is true. If you have a habit of getting your clothes starched, they wear out faster. Hmm. Yeah, I can see it. probably the, the edges yeah. of the starch line. Not only that, they don't breathe as well. Huh. I know with the old cotton fatigues, uh, which were sturdy, heavy cotton, yeah. did not last long. Not not as long as they should have uh, the material they were made out of. Because we had to start the hell out of them. Yeah. I uh, I recently I got some of the uh, very dark brown uh, Wrangler jeans. Yeah. I think they're called uh, black chocolate or something like that. And I allegedly ordered them from the Amazon store, the uh, Wrangler Amazon store. And the jeans I got, stunk of Tide. I don't like. I don't like. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't like laundry detergent. It has a smell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're so heavily starched. That I wash them four times and still couldn't break yeah. the starch or the shine. Yeah. Like, Cling. Yeah. <laughs> there, but there, you know, that's that's where as an author you have to be careful. <laughs> and I actually, in a couple of books, put in. As a reference, what the TLA actually meant mm -hmm. to quit That's confusing people. One of the things I wish the military would do is at the at the very front of whatever you're reading, list of list of acronyms of what they stand for. Yeah. yeah, That's actually something that's every place that I have written as a technical writer is something that's required at the beginning of the document is before you use the acronym, you spell it out yeah. with the acronym in parentheses and then yeah. you, after that you use the acronym yeah. Well, yeah. if you're doing a uh, term paper that's a requirement in mm -hmm. term paper yeah. it used to be yeah it's a, it's it's a yeah. it's a style preference for um, all the technical writing I've had to do yeah now so. what's funny there used to be <laughs> literally a document in the navy that was called a nav dicab which was the navy dictionary of abbreviations <laughs> And it ran well <laughs> over a hundred pages. Nope. 
Nope, 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 well, nope. and then they change too. Yeah. So. Oh God. <laughs> we we did one program with a <coughs> uh, technologically advanced contractor out in Arizona. We went out to get a program briefing on what they were planning to do. Out of four briefs, there were three that used the same acronym. Oh, no. For different things? CCD. Three different friggin' meanings. <laughs> oh. And when I commented on that, the program manager for the contractor said, well, I don't see why you have a problem with that. <laughs> Because you don't know what it's... And I literally looked at him and said, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> he said, do you not understand that you're going to give this system, if it works, to sailors? Mm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Sorry, your son's about to go in the Navy. My yeah. bad. <laughs> not really. Well, why would that be a problem? And I looked at my boss and I just got up and walked out. <laughs> My son has already signed on the data, dotted line. Yeah. MB screwed. <laughs> it's behind belongs to Uncle Sam now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only question will be will his haircut be before or after chow in the morning? No, Mars was after. We got breakfast so that we'd have enough. So they got they got our butts up at, at 4 30. Yeah. Ran us in the chow hall and we spent from then till noon running around like our hair was on fire. Yeah. yeah. Except for the fact by the noon you didn't have any you hair. Didn't have any hair running yeah. Around. Yeah, no, he's he's texting me and he's letting me know that he'll probably be on and off available until about twenty one hundred. So now as soon as he shows up, oh, that, yeah, no, that, that, he I, might as well just turn off his phone, put it in his pocket. Yep. Oh, they'll take the phone away from him. Yeah, they'll, they'll they take it away and lock it up. He'll yeah. get it back um Sundays. He'll get it back on Sundays. And that seriously? That yeah. to me is just stupid. Yeah, they, they evidently I'm just sorry. started that. No, no, I'm 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 not I'm not arguing that at all. I don't think that it's, they shouldn't let them have their cell phones. But, no. Um, we had a pay phone in the barracks that we got to use on Sunday evenings. Mm -hmm. We didn't yeah, even get phone. that for the first month. We had a pay phone. And, and then it was limited to three minutes. Yeah. And I expect you to not hear from him for weeks. Yeah. 240 people on one pay phone in the barracks on yeah. Sunday evening. Yeah. I didn't get to make many calls. Yeah. No. We had a bank of pay phones down the street. That were used by all five basic training companies in my cycle. Oh, that was fun. I think it was three pay phones. Uh, and of course, there was also the problem of where are you going to get the change to feed them? Yeah. In those days, that was the only way to use pay phone was that or make a collect call. Yeah, mm -hmm. call. Yeah, it's one of the things that they told him to bring with him was, um, or an option to bring with him was a prepaid um, calling card. Yeah. Which, when we found out that he'd have access to his cell phone, we didn't do that. So yeah, prepaid calling card. God, what would we, what would we have done for that back I, in the day? I literally, yeah. okay. So how old I was? I literally had uh, the drill sergeants. Yeah. Uh, our first day, we had to go buy a coke. Yeah. Uh, with we got our our first, we had to go buy a coke so we'd get change in quarters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And one of the quarters we had to call our mothers. Yeah. 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 We did not. We were not allowed to do that. Well, I got in trouble in the army in, the, in basic training. <laughs> no, because I had not written my mother, and she finally fit, oh. got a hold of my company commander. Oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> well, the problem was the day I joined the army, they moved. Uh, now we. I helped them. They built the house. I knew they were moving. Yeah. All of a sudden. But I knew 2807 Oregonia Road. I had no idea what 1000 Ward Cobble Road was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you didn't know, have an address to mail a letter to her. <laughs> had yeah. no idea what it was. I mean, they told me. We had we had to write a letter, and the drill sergeant stood over us. And, and yep. while we wrote a letter, we had to, we yep. had to send a letter to her, tell them that we were okay. Yep. And then it was either a Coke or the haircut. Cause we had to pay for haircuts. And it was whatever was set, it was set up so we got a quarter back. Yeah. Whatever we paid, we got a, our change was a quarter. Mm -hmm. And we stood there in formation with that quarter in our hot little hands. <laughs> and then we walked up. Had, they took us down to the PX, or was a bank of payphones, and we're standing in, 
with holding that quarter, but I walk to the quarter and call our, call our folks and say, yeah. yeah, Rick, when I went through Pensacola or went through Orlando, we were in the 75th company that ever goes through there. The waves were still up at Bainbridge, Maryland. So we didn't see them until we got in the fleet. Yeah. Hello, mother. Hello, father. Here I am in Camp Granada. Yeah. There's a scene in a movie called uh, No Time for Sergeants. And uh, a whack captain walks up and uh, to one of the uh, trainees and says, don't you see these uh, bars on my collar? I ain't got that high yet, man. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the thing about it is, when I was in basic, that might have been my rex because we did not see a female. Yeah. I remember halfway through basic, they moved in uh, the barracks across from ours. We were in old Hollywood at, uh, at Fort Jackson. And uh, the, the barracks across from ours, about halfway through, they put they ran a female unit in there. Yeah. And all the training that the, the drill sergeants put us through went to shit. Yeah. But Padre says, my family moved a lot when I was a kid. I always managed to find them every time, though. <laughs> the, uh, we And that's... And all of a sudden, we couldn't sing. The, we had a directive kid to come down from on high as soon as the females moved across. Yeah. We couldn't sing the good cadences anymore, yeah. which really set our teeth on edge. Well, what was bad is the girls usually had dirtier current cadences than the guys. Yeah. Well, and the, the, the way that old Hollywood was set up, the, uh, the latrines, shower areas, were on the same side as the building. So I walked in one time. There's a line of guys. In front of the windows, I turned around and walked out. I, I heard that coming. Yeah. And they were so busy watching the females across, yeah. they didn't hear the drill sergeant sneak in. Uh -huh. Oh, sneak boy. In, sneak in, stopping all the way down the hallway. Yeah. They weren't They weren't being very sneaky. They came in and said, what? I heard, what the fuck is going on? Yep, yep, that's it. I'm on yep. my bunk. Still had to do PT for two hours. <laughs> Bastards. Uh, real to real types. That was another way to do it. Dan's Dan said that uh, he didn't like the rice. They so brought him, bought him a real to real, and sent it to him. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, eighteen year old hormone storms. No kidding. On both sides, yes. Now I saw I saw the whole bunch of my platoon mates in the shower line, or in the, and we had we had windows, yeah. and it's like what the fuck? Oh shit! Yeah. And I was smart enough. I went, I'm out of here. I'm not going to get caught. Didn't matter. Still had to yeah. push. I still had to lower Fort Jackson about six RK feet. wants to know where Johan's cat is. At our house? Yeah. <laughs> Garage? Well, if she doesn't stop crapping on the floor, yes. Oh. But, um, no, the cat is going to live with us. The boy is going into the submarine service. The boy will not be able to have his cat. Nope. No. Nope. He will not have any animals. Nope. The cat, the cat will live with us. Yeah. The boy no, will he probably will have plenty of animals. There are how many men on a stuff? <laughs> 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 How's Kitty Boo taking another cat? Yo, know, Kitty Boo and, and I mean Gidget's an angry gremlin, and but the other two just kind of ignore her. Kitty Boo and Toast play. Yeah. They have, they have fun. They get I feed them their gushy food every morning, and then and speaking of which, I'm going to get home and get told <laughs> <laughs> I'm late. Um, but I feed them their gushy food in the morning. About 20 minutes later, Kitty Boo and Toast have the zoomies, and they're racing all over the house. Yeah. So, so yeah, they wrestle and they play, and they pretty much just ignore Kitty Gidget because Gidget's angry. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, Kitty Boo pays attention to Gidget. She wants to make sure if she starts getting close that she can leave. No. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I have seen uh, Kitty Boo crown in underneath something yeah. because Gidget has walked into the room. Uh, Kitty Boo is such a sweet, meek little thing. Yeah, which is <laughs> weird. Kitty Boo, okay, Silver Tiger, Cedar, was Kitty Boo named after Chicken Boo and Animaniacs? <coughs> no. Kitty Boo is named by Rita. Rita didn't like me calling her Dependent Cat, <laughs> uh, among, among other things that I called that cat. Uh, Way too skinny to be a dependent cat. <laughs> she wasn't she when was, I saw her. She has no muscle. Yeah, <laughs> well, I was going to say that is not. She was pregnant cat. when you first saw her. Well, okay, pregnant maybe, but she wasn't. She was also about that big and pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so Rita, Rita didn't like me calling her dependent cat, or even if it was true, even if it was true, or the other things <laughs> I referred to her as. 
So when Rita would get out and garden, the cat would come out from under the porch and sit with her toe with her tail around her toes, and she and Rita would carry on hours long conversations. Yeah. And somewhere in the middle of that, she became Kitty Boo. I said, "Really? Okay. Where is that Dependent Cat and the Jodies? I still two of the Jodies are still hanging around. Yeah, I got one right in the coin purse with a uh, airsoft, and he hadn't come back." Um, the other two, I, they're smarter than the first one. We're not taking any more cats. <laughs> no, no. The Jodies are the Jodies are not. No, they will. They actually belong to somebody because the uh, airsoft pellet that I rang his bells with uh, was uh, a paint pellet, and I heard somebody a little later yelling about the blue paint on his cat's nuts, <laughs> um, and I I yelled back that. Uh, you need to keep his damn cat from crapping in my yard. Yeah. Defer says the mini marine is trying to climb the chicken coop with a knife. Oh, yeah. you're going to have fun with him, Defer. Oh, my gosh. The three-year-old. Yep. Yep. Uh, all right. We're <laughs> done for the day. <laughs> Holy crap. It's been an hour already. Yeah, we've wasted an hour of your time. How can they insist that they're lost? And I can ring somebody else's uh, coin purse, I will. <laughs> They're smart. They do, they don't face away from me when they're crap in the yard anymore. Because when I hit that one, yeah, he let the universe know that somebody had tagged him on the gooblies. Yay, that's great news, RK. Uh, mother's kidney doctor said she's fine, and he's looking forward to see her again at age one hundred. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that is great news. That's good news. Ninety nine and nine tenths. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well. Considering how broke we all are, oh, anybody look. getting good news is a good thing. Oh, look, 40 people watching and only 22 likes. Yeah, well, most people don't come to, to watch us anyway. They just come for the damn chat. Yak in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> folks, uh, we'll be back on Thursday. God willing, the creek don't rise. No kidding. Uh, and the weather doesn't change much. Oh, it's going to change. It'll change, yeah. My, my, It'll change between now and the time we get home. My yeah. hips are killing me right now. Well, it was we were supposed to get hammered yesterday, and they went around us again. again. Thank goodness. I told Rita, don't get all don't get all wrapped around the uh, castle. Don't yeah. get wrapped around the axle because it'll go around us. Boy, Chillicothe and Quanta got the crap knocked Bastards. out of them, though. Bastards. Yeah. They well, got rain. Yeah. I, I swear, Ian's thing about the witch that uh, yeah. put, put a spell on place, I swear it's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Iowa Park's turning into a desert. Yeah. Oh, no. No. AJ says, she'd be glad there isn't a way to lock the chat separately from the screen. <laughs> right? Oh, thank you. Maybe we have another. Uh, anyway, folks, remember, don't sweat the petty stuff. Don't pet the sweaty stuff. Y'all be safe. We'll see you on Thursday. Bye-bye. Come on. Quit. End. Stop. Oh,